Imagine if a swarm of combat drones was making its way to attack a civilian area or a government site. Now imagine a device capable of firing up several high-energy laser beams precisely aimed at the drones traveling at incredible speeds. With pinpoint accuracy, the laser swiftly begins taking out one drone after another until the skies are clear. Not a single sound was made, not a single casualty, and no messy explosions. Lethal drones and multi-million dollar missiles taken out cleanly with one single device. This is not a scene from an Avengers movie, this is real life. Recently, the UK successfully tested its latest technological breakthrough that can make all of this possible with the Dragonfire laser. The Dragonfire system, a formidable air defense mechanism developed in the UK, recently celebrated a groundbreaking milestone as it was employed against an airborne target for the very first time. This state-of-the-art defense system successfully neutralized an advanced drone using its cutting-edge laser-directed energy weapon. What makes this accomplishment even more remarkable is that the targeted drone, built with metallic materials closely resembling a genuine aircraft was effortlessly penetrated by the system's precision laser. This extraordinary feat now positions the United Kingdom alongside an exclusive group of nations that have proven their proficiency in employing laser targeting systems, namely the United States, Israel, China, and Russia. The precision of Dragonfire is truly awe-inspiring. It is precise enough to hit a one-cent coin from a staggering kilometer away. This cutting-edge defense system harnesses the power of an intense light beam, enabling it to effortlessly slice through its intended target at the speed of light itself, while the system's exact operational range remains classified information. Numerous experts speculate that its effectiveness depends solely on the line of sight, ensuring that any visible target can be swiftly engaged and neutralized. One of the most compelling aspects of Dragonfire is its remarkably low cost. At only $13 per shot, the weapon is a much cheaper alternative to conventional counter drone and missile measures. The standard procedure requires the use of multiple missiles that cost way more than the targets they destroy, which from a financial standpoint makes very little sense. Traditional missile systems can easily exceed a million dollars per missile with even the most economical option, the AIM-9X, carrying a price tag of around $400,000 per missile. In comparison, utilizing Dragonfire for a mere 10 seconds costs roughly the same as operating a regular household heater for an hour. Talk about value for money. While the weapon is still highly classified, there are a few bits and pieces about how it operates. Operating within the power range of approximately 50 kilowatts, this cutting-edge weapon emits a focused beam of electromagnetic radiation aimed at the body of its target, rapidly heating it until it causes critical structural damage. The wings burn off while the plastic or metal arms supporting the propellers melt away. It could also swiftly set the liquid fuel supply ablaze, which explodes the entire device. Another possibility is that it burns and blinds its optical sensors, causing the drone or a missile to become wobbly and sway from its intended path. The weapon has the highest depth of magazine advantage in military terms. This term refers to the amount of readily available ammunition on the ground for a given weapon system. Conventional missiles tend to be limited. Eventually, they will run out if a sustained attack occurs. The Dragonfire has no ammunition per se. It can rapidly shoot without wasting time reloading or risking mechanical loading failures. In the simplest of terms, it only needs power to operate. The weapon is operated by a trained specialist, using an Xbox-like controller that is easy to learn. They aim the laser, lock it onto a target, and easily fire the weapon. Regarding its capabilities, Dragonfire possesses a remarkable theoretical potential to engage targets moving at the speed of light. While this feat remains purely theoretical, it is still an idea to behold. The UK Ministry of Defense anticipates that Dragonfire will be operational and deployed within the next five to ten years. This groundbreaking system is expected to revolutionize defense strategies by providing a low-cost alternative while minimizing the risk of collateral damage. Both the UK Army and Royal Navy are actively considering its integration into their air defense capabilities, with projections indicating that Dragonfire could comprise up to 30% of future air defense infrastructure. It is already being incorporated in pro prototype military jets and vehicles, such as the Royal Navy-type frigates and the British Army Wolfhound armored vehicles. The development of Dragonfire is the result of a significant joint investment of $110 million by the UK Ministry of Defense and various European military contractors. The project was initially proposed in 2014, with active development commencing in 2017. The inspiration behind this endeavor stemmed from the successful laser weapons testing conducted by the United States in 2014. 
These tests involved the precise engagement of multiple targets on a small boat, as well as a moving drone in the sky. The outcome of these trials led to the creation of the Helios laser targeting systems that the United States employs to this day. Although Helios operates on 150 kilowatts, which is three times the force that Dragonfire generates, Dragonfire is still more effective and efficient as evident in their latest test results. In the future, they hope to achieve a power output of 400 kilowatts. The proposed use of energy-based weapons stems from the increasing use of attack drones around the world. Whether in terrorist attacks or actual warfare, the use of drones has changed the game. Drones are extremely cheap and everyone can get their hands on one and turn it into a weapon. It started being widely used in the Russia-Ukraine war, as Ukraine was opting to use the cheaper alternative to target enemy vehicles in kamikaze-style attacks. Since all you had to do was strap a bomb to a drone and fly it remotely, now anyone could carry out an attack. The incident of a drone attack on the heavily fortified Kremlin underscores the growing threat posed by these inexpensive and easily deployable aerial platforms. While the defenses were successful in neutralizing the drone in this specific scenario, it highlights the need for robust countermeasures to counter the evolving tactics employed by attackers. The advancement of AI has indeed brought about significant advancements in combat drones. AI algorithms have been programmed to observe the behavior of natural systems, such as schools of fish, to develop sophisticated and elusive maneuvering techniques. By emulating the evasive movements of prey animals, AI-enabled drones can enhance their ability to evade defense missiles, making them more challenging targets to intercept. This adds a layer of complexity to defense systems, as traditional missile-based approaches may struggle to effectively neutralize these AI-enhanced drones. When confronted with an overwhelming number of attack drones, missile defenses face several challenges. The first limitation is that it is hard to keep many missiles around, and eventually, they will run out. The associated high costs make it impractical to maintain an extensive arsenal capable of countering a large-scale attack. Additionally, the use of missiles carries the risk of collateral damage and civilian casualties, which is a significant concern in any conflict scenario. In contrast, Dragonfire can continuously take out multiple drones in quick succession without any further damage, with no million-dollar ammunition used, and can hold its defense for as long as it needs to. Although the weapon is a bit less dramatic and anticlimactic than what you see in movies, you're correct in pointing out that Dragonfire, like any other weapon system, has its limitations and challenges. It is not a perfect weapon and does have some disadvantages. The weapon is heavily affected by weather conditions such as rain, clouds, or fog. The energy beam can be scattered or absorbed through atmospheric scattering and thermal blooming. Atmospheric scattering is when the energy beam interacts with particles in the atmosphere like dust or rain, and it progressively gets weakened. Water particles absorb the heat from the laser, and the dust can block or deflect it. The greater the distance it is required to travel, and the more particles there are in the atmosphere, the weaker and less accurate the energy beam will become. Thermal blooming is when the energy beam continuously travels through the same pathway, and the air increases in temperature as a result of the absorption of heat and becomes kind of like a mirror. As it gets hotter, the rest of the incoming beams become distorted and are bounced away, basically becoming weaker. The final obstacle is that it would be extremely difficult to aim on a moving platform like a ship, for example. The inherent instability and in motion of a ship can introduce complexities in accurately aligning the laser beam with the intended target. That would be like trying to hit a bullseye while standing on a balance board. The weapon is still in development though, and it is only a matter of time before these issues are addressed. Laser defenses have come a long way since they were first used. The first recorded use of an energy beam defense system, believe it or not, was in 212 BC. It was implemented by Archimedes, who used mirrors to redirect sunlight in a hyper-focused energy beam towards invading Roman ships, setting them all ablaze. Fast forward almost a couple thousand years, the Star Wars program was proposed in the United States following World War II as a way to protect itself from possible nuclear strikes from Russia in the Cold War. The project was supposed to have outer space satellites that would shoot lasers towards any incoming missiles before they even got anywhere near their target. This project resembled the modern-day Dragonfire the most. Unfortunately, the technology and knowledge needed were not ready at the time, and the project never came to fruition. Over the years, laser defenses started to be developed, but they were chemical-based lasers. They took up a lot of space and were not practical. One of the most prominent projects in the United States cost over $2 billion. Subsequently, the project was abandoned. In modern years, laser defenses have existed, 
but they only had one function, which was to confuse the tracking systems of incoming attacks. They could not destroy an aerial threat directly. Today, the Dragonfire proves to be a weaponized marvel in its potential and capability. With the current technological advancements, humanity has finally managed to implement the Star Wars program to create legitimate laser weaponry and defense systems. Yet somehow, we still don't have lightsabers. If you made it this far, thank you guys for watching. I'd appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. Leave a comment about what you think. See you on the next one.